Hi, this is Catherine Rose. I'm with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2017. I'm sitting here with Yara Ambruskiewicz and Mark Simonich from Phalanx. And we're here to talk about Hannibal. Yeah, so, a lot of such a shirt in our names. massive yeah? board and these gorgeous board dice, amazing figures. We couldn't make it bigger. <laughs> I believe I was just fit, what, I believe it, what, you. it just wasn't fitting in a box. We right. tried, we tried, and we couldn't make it any bigger. Beautiful. But it, the but we've made a mat that is bigger. Oh really? Yeah, it's huge. Amazing. It's twice as big as this board. Uh, it's epic. <laughs> <laughs> but the board is big enough to Super play the game uh, nicely and to see all the connections. We've covered this subject for two years already. But, uh, two years ago I, I came to Essen with the news that Mark was kind enough to give us the license uh, for this fine game. Uh, and since two years we were working hard on the, and we just missed the spot by like a week or two maybe because the shipping will be uh, leaving our warehouses end of November, beginning of December, US probably early Jan. So the Kickstarter uh, supporters will be getting the game first and then it will go uh, to distribution. Uh, thanks to the Kickstarter, uh, we, we've got this beautiful and large dice that really nice soul it's heavy it's they are heavy and and you see the result right away and we removed the tables which mark wasn't really happy with but i think he will survive he will survive yeah. <laughs> we left one <laughs> we left one as a reminder thank you um but uh as i've covered many times many of the original uh, processes have been streamlined, so the game produces just exactly the same results as it did and it, it does for 20 years. And there are people who are playing this for 20 years. It's becoming a classic like chess, and I hope we'll overtake chess at some point, because it's better. Um, as you see, there was a lot of work that being done with uh, the art side of it, the beautiful board, yeah, uh, the minis yeah. which, which were Painted for the for the fair for the convention. Yeah, they come for the convention, they come unpainted, but beautiful, still beautiful. And yeah, the, the detail on they, this is amazing. Yeah, they, they don't need to be painted to be to be great. And uh, um, each each mini it has a company uh, in the form of a card. I don't know where the camera is. The top one, this way. Yeah. So it has it has a company, and you see the person on on the card matches exactly the mini. Um, and uh, there is there is uh, 200 cards with events, and every card has a separate separate illustration. So we have ladies in the game. We have some some native guys. You know, we have Roman commanders. It's a card-driven game. It's so a card you play one card, you do your move. We have tribes. And the artwork on we these have is elephants. We have sieges. You could, this, through these cards, we tell the story of the conflict um, and, uh, and help you not only un enjoy the game itself, but also understand a bit more history and why the Hannibal Anteportas in many languages means a real threat mm -hmm. and uh, why crossing the Alps, which such a feat and such an achievement at those times, uh, I think that the games help to understand this this uh, so achievement. A bit of history lesson here. Yeah, yeah, but also it's a, it's a great gameplay. So it's not just history. It's not a book about Hannibal. It's a game about it. So you can you can not only revive the the historical uh, events, but also change them or leave, have them unfold in a different way. You can kind of be the uh, the leader of uh, of this new uh, yeah type of history, the, the, right? the clash of uh, that time largest powers powers in the world. This game was originally designed 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, Yarrow's company has come out with this 20 year anniversary, which is amazing. Yeah, really beautiful. So, and so for those people that haven't been able to get a hold of it during that time, then they, now they have the chance to get a hold of it. Again, yeah, right? there's also more in the box, because uh, the originally the game was just one kind of scenario. Now we have a scenario for each of the turns. So right. whenever that the original game would last at nine turns, the game that we present now has a scenario starting in each of those turns, so you can play starting turn eight, turn four, or turn five, which makes it for shorter play, but also understanding what was the historical situation and what problems they faced 
and they had to overcome. So you have a little bit of background, like, even if you start. It, yeah, with the... every scenario. We also have scenarios uh, um, focused on Italy, uh, Spain and Africa. So you have a campaign game just in that region. Um, and also, uh, through different components, we, we achieve another, uh, you know, we have, we have something for everyone. We have, we have uh, the counters, we have the minis, and we have a wooden, uh, wooden generals stands. as well, stands, which can be purchased separately. We have two extensions to this, to this game nice. already. But who's going to play with that when they're going to have this? So. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, some people actually wanted this badly, and uh, that was Kickstarter um, social kind of uh, achievement because we, that was part of the campaign, and people yeah, really cool. wanted them, so they got them. They got them. Uh, we've listened. We've listened. We do listen. You guys are great listeners. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, and great talkers too. Been great talkers. Uh, and I'll show you something else, you know, because that's one part of the story. <clears throat> and then. Because what we promised since the beginning of this project is that we create two games. Uh -huh. So here we go. Bang! Wow, there is look at that. yet another one underneath. <laughs> totally new uh, game on Hamilcar, as you've seen on the box. It says Hannibal and Hamilcar. Uh, and, uh, so using the same components. Using the same components. The However, you board. see just a bit of a flavor. Uh, if we have one mini, one is being used in Hannibal, the other one is used in Hamilcar. They have a different, different coloring on the card, so there's a lot of flavor, uh, and I think the game becomes, you know, like a, also art product to enjoy, not nice. just the game itself. So this is totally new. We don't know how it plays. You tell us. <laughs> We tried, we tried hard. But at least you know that Hannibal is loved and played a lot throughout these last yeah, and 20 that, and, years. And we so. hope, we hope uh, Hamilcar will, uh, will be another... Uh, come out. In 20 years, he'll come out with a Hamilcar. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what we hope for. But this game is really unique because it concentrates on uh, Sicily. and the, It's really neat. And there's naval battles in this game. So yeah. lots of new interesting There is new, yeah, new mechanics new that, things, yes. that you can build on the Hannibal. The game has been built on Hannibal mechanics, but also drawing from other Marx designs, like from, from the game of Saxosaurus, where the naval movement is concerned. Uh, we've, we've pushed over. We've, we've so there's in, some introduced familiar, familiar game in this box. It is familiar. Time, you yeah. have this amazing but it's more advanced, bonus, so play Hannibal bonus, first. Right? Yeah, yeah. it's Fantastic. a bonus game. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That is Hannibal and Hamilcar from Balance. Play the game, tell us what you think.